Hey guys, it's Ricer Boy, and today we're going to talk about my straight pipe. So if you like the idea of a straight pipe, or if you're planning to straight pipe your car, which means removing the catalytic converter and or resonators, I have done it myself. And I have some words of wisdom for those who intend to do it themselves as well. So the first thing you might want to know about is what it's like when you start your car. Well, at least in this car particularly, it's quite loud. When I start my car, I notice people flinching, jumping, looking over at my car, and sometimes even squinting in a way that assumes that they probably don't like the modification that I did to make my car sound this loud. Currently, this car just has one resonator along with a cap delete, and it does a lot to change the sound profile of this exhaust. So if you straight pipe your car, something you could expect to have a lot of is definitely people noticing your car when it starts. This is for better and for worse. It's up to you which one it is. So the number two item that especially needs to be discussed if you straight pipe your car is the stench. Because this exhaust has an odor. Without a catalytic converter, there are a lot of things you can expect to find in your new exhaust, which is carbon monoxide, other harmful chemicals, and stuff that smells really bad. So the exhaust of this car smells so bad that I literally keep a container of Febreze in the trunk, which I spray onto the exhaust tip anytime I want it to smell better. Because if I'm driving someone who I want to impress, or if I just want my car to look and smell clean, that's something that I have to do. Now, as if this stench may not already seem gross enough to you, this also makes the exhaust spit out soot sometimes even fire. And that's up to you whether you want that or not, but at least for me, I have to clean off my bumper constantly because I have a red car. And you can see the soot. It's kind of cool, actually. Now, something I can presume is that if you're intending on straight piping your car, you probably have a car that's pretty fast. And if you own a pretty fast car, you definitely know what it's like to lay low when you're by policemen. Now, when you have a straight pipe exhaust, you're gonna have to get that and then increase it by maybe two or five fold because even though my local area has pretty relaxed laws on exhaust, especially compared to California who does testing along with a couple other states, the truth is if cops see a particular red car that is loud and is driving aggressively and quickly, if they see that you're going five over as opposed to the Camry driver who's going five over, they're definitely going to be a lot more likely to pull you over. At least in this car, the exhaust is so loud that I try to keep below 2,500 whenever I'm around a policeman, just so that way I can't get any noise violations or anything like that. It might seem crazy, but people can and have been ticketed for exhaust. Even if it is an easy ticket, it's still something that's not good to have on your record, especially if you're a younger driver like me. So another obvious but important thing that has to be addressed with getting a straight pipe exhaust is the constant noise. You will have to turn up your radio quite a bit. You will have to already notify your passengers of exactly how loud it's going to be. And you will have to tell people, no, my car is not broken, if it is older and seems like it might be by doing this modification. So you might have heard me mention turning up the radio, right? Well, I definitely know there are some cars out there that have less powerful radios, and I definitely feel sorry for you, because one interesting option that this Centrospec V has is a 900 watt, nine speaker Rockford Fosgate audio system. And it's a damn good audio system, but I can't always enjoy the fullness of my tracks, especially if I need to accelerate which gets kind of annoying over time, especially if you like music and music quality like me, being a slight audiophile. So this is something to sort of keep in mind if you're really thinking about doing this to your exhaust. Now, I can't read people's minds, but this last item is definitely very important. Now, some people out there and maybe even girls possibly think I'm dumb for doing this modification. There are more environmentalists out there than ever, and I can guarantee that none of them would like a straight pipe exhaust over one that has properly equipped catalytic converters. Now my car is loud, smelly, old, and breaks often. 
and I don't know if girls find that attractive. So getting a straight pipe exhaust is up to you. There are upsides and there are downsides. I'll admit it's not perfect, but I have a lot of fun with this exhaust. And I'm about to show you what makes it really nice. And that, my friends, was only 3,000 RPM. out there thinking of doing exhaust modifications because don't forget that they're kind of expensive and also hard to replace and fix so I'll leave the decision up to you but for me a straight pipe is a really fun option <laughs> 